Before we learn about the life cycle of a plant, we need to understand the functions of the different organs of a plant. Let's start at the roots. The roots have two vital functions. They anchor the plant into the soil so it doesn't blow away and they absorb water and nutrients from the soil to help the plant grow. Next we have the stem of the plant. The stem holds up the plant's leaves and flowers. It is filled with tubes called xylem and phloem tubes. These are like the veins and arteries of the plant. The xylem tubes carry water up from the roots to the leaves and the flower. The phloem carries food made in the leaves to the rest of the plant. The leaves of the plant are where photosynthesis happens. During photosynthesis, water and carbon dioxide are combined to make the sugar glucose. This sugar is the plant's food that it uses for growth. Photosynthesis is powered by sunlight, which is why leaves turn to face the sun. The flower is the plant's reproductive organ. Many flowers have both male and female parts. The male parts produce pollen. Pollen can be dispersed by the wind or insects. If the pollen reaches another flower of the same species, it will fertilise the female part of the flower. The flower dies leaving behind a fruit. The fruit contains seeds. Fruits are tasty to encourage animals to eat them, so that in doing so, they will spread the plant seeds far and wide. Now we know about the organs of a plant, we are ready to fill in the rest of the details of the plant life cycle. Plants start out as seeds. The seeds contain the food reserves the baby plant needs to start growing. It cannot make its own food at this stage as it has no leaves. This is called the seed stage. The plant seed needs water before it will start to grow. It will grow upwards away from gravity and towards the sunlight it needs. This is called the germination stage. As the seedling grows, it unfurls its tiny leaves so that it can start to photosynthesize. It will need to make its own food so that it can grow. This is called the seedling stage. The plant will then start to grow flowers, which are the reproductive organs of the plant. This is called the flowering stage. The pollen from one flower will fertilise the ovule from another flower. This is called the reproductive stage. The flower dies back, leaving the fruit containing the seeds. The seeds can then be dispersed to new areas to grow new plants. This is called the dispersion stage. Seeds can be dispersed by animals such as birds. Seeds can also be dispersed by the wind. Other types of seed might be dispersed by water. And then the whole cycle can begin again.